are blue because four out of six books are blue in this, but like they're pretty. So today's the blue haul day. I should have worn a blue shirt. Dang it. Oh well, whatever. We'll go with it. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a another haul video. I went to my local thrift store because you know your girl never buys her books full price because she's cheap. And I got a couple of books that are actually kind of popular. Or they were like three years ago, but that's still pretty good for this channel because usually we go like 20 years back and that's what we read from. But these are actually pretty good in my findings, I must say. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book that I picked up is Keeping the Moon by Sarah Dessen. Yeah. This is only because anytime I see a Sarah Dessen book, I have to have it. Why? I don't know. I just recently actually started reading her books. I just collect them for some reason. I've recently been on a Sarah Dessen kick, and I'm slowly working my way through them. This is the only one of this style that I haven't bought in yet, so I now own them all. I just have to actually read them. The next book that I picked up is Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. This is the second book. I think it's just a duology. The first book is Red Queen. I love this cover and I own the first book so I figured it's at the thrift store for four dollars hardcover book. Might as well pick it up to complete the series on my shelves. The next book I picked up is Every Day by David Levithan. Honestly I don't know why I bought this book because I have like a love-hate relationship with David Levithan. Sometimes I love his books, sometimes I hate his books. Lately I've been hating them so why I thought I needed this book I don't know. But I'm kind of angry about this one because I didn't notice in the store, but someone like took a knife or something to this book and there's like this huge slit down it. How I did not notice that, I don't know. I think I just saw it in the store and I was like, I've seen this on people's channels, everybody loves it, I need it in my life. And I didn't actually like look to see the quality of it. The next book I have is The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness. This is the second book in the Chaos Walking trilogy. I have the first one, which is The Knife of Never Letting Go. And I saw this on the shelf. I haven't read The Knife of Never Letting Go, but it was, again, only $4, so might as well pick it up when I have the chance. And also, I like the cover, so I wanted it, and now I have it, so I'm a happy girl. The next book... Honestly, don't know why I bought it, because when I'm thinking back to it, I'm kind of like, that was really dumb of me. But it is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is like the spin-off from Fangirl, where Kath, who's the main character of Fangirl, writes fanfiction for a character named Simon Snow and Baz. This is like her fanfiction website, basically the story of them. When I was reading Fangirl, I really didn't love the fanfiction part of it. I kind of found myself skimming it, so why I bought this book, I will never know. I think it's honestly because I was like, oh, Rainbow Rowell, I need this in my life. But like, I'm kind of not complaining because it's like really pretty with the dust jacket off, and also it has like a really nice map in it. So like, I mean, I'm not upset about it, but like, when am I gonna read this? Who really knows? We'll get to it when I get to it. Also super hefty, and if you've been on this channel for a while, you know your girl hate hefty books, so why I did this to myself, I don't know. But it happened. There's no going back. The next book is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. This will be my second Lauren Oliver book. I read Before I Fall and I really liked it, so I saw this one and I was like, okay, I need it in my life. That's a lie, I've read Panic, I think it's called, by Lauren Oliver. I think that's the one. I think it's called Panic. I could be wrong. I don't remember. Maybe it's Pandemonium. I don't know. The one about the game. And it's like kind of like truth or dare. You, whatever. Look it up on Goodreads. I don't know what it's called. This book is signed by the author, so I got excited and I was like, I need it in my life. And also, I just really like it without the dust jacket. I think it's like super pretty. I don't know why, because it's literally just a girl, but I'm like... I like this. I need it. So I bought it. And then the final book that I picked up is Across the Universe by Beth Revis. After reading the synopsis, it kind of gave me like the passenger movie vibe. The new one with Jennifer Lawrence and either Chris or Liam Hemsworth. I don't know them apart. They look the exact same, so I don't care. But it kind of gave me that feel, so I really did actually like that movie, so I'm hoping that it's kind of the same thing and it's going to be entertaining. But we'll see if I actually ever read it. But yeah, so I picked that up, and hopefully I like it. Alright guys, so that is my super quick haul video. Let me know down below if you've read any of these, and if you liked them or hated them, whatever. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!